In my last clan vs clan video, I joined Hawkrin, a Cubecraft clan, and my team and I won a scrim. That scrim was against Sinister, another Cubecraft clan, and it was against their B team. Just a few days later, we had another scrim, this time against Sinister's A team. It didn't go as well, and we lost 2-0. It's a great note to self promote on, so 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so if you would, subscribe as it keeps me motivated to make more videos, and channel members, they're on the screen. Along with my team, the Z team losing a scrim, the B team also lost a scrim. This led to the Hawker and Clan leader, Lightships, deciding that he should switch out the players on each team, changing their rosters completely, and forming two completely all new teams. So some Z team members were moved on to B team, and some B team members got moved on to Z team. One of those people was me. I got moved up to B team along with a couple other people who I played with in the scrims against Sinister. One of those people who moved up was Dexton, who was the Z team captain but now became the B team captain. But like 5 minutes after I joined, someone was like, hey, you should make Phil the captain. And now I'm thinking, do I want to be captain? Because you know, that's like important, you gotta like do things. I spent a month making an 8 minute video, that's 90 hours per minute, you really think I can do anything productive? So I'm like, no, 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 guys, 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 that'd be terrible. Phil for captain! Uh, Phil uh, for captain! Uh, Phil for captain! Uh, then the captain said Phil for captain, like, come on, what do you mean, bro? Eventually, though, I got out by saying that I'd be fine with helping some, but I don't want to be the full captain. While I was waiting for the next scrim to be scheduled by my captain, and not me, I subbed into an A-team scrim against a high plan called Riot, and I couldn't be bothered to go over the scrim. The main thing was that I saw the A-team play, yoinked their strats, and used them in my scrims. The day after the A-team scrim, we had our first scrim as a new B-team. This scrim was against Empire, yet another QBF clan, and it was against their B-team. It was our first chance to prove ourselves as not being absolutely trash, so we didn't want to mess it up. Before the game started, I assigned roles, putting three people on mid control, one being me, three people on offense, and three people on defense. So the game starts and I rush mid. Almost instantly, I got 2v1 and died. I looked away from my screen for a second just to look back and see that a fly had flown across my keyboard, tabbed out a cube craft, loaded into a survival world, rebuilt the map I was playing on, and then it brought other people playing in the scrim into the world, and then I got 2v1 in that survival world. Or there was a glitch in Cubecraft that meant when you died you drop your items and the respawn menu would appear, but the first option is much more likely. Either way, I rushed back to mid so I could get some diamonds and start the diamond generators on our base. That was the reason I put myself on middle, because although I knew I wouldn't actually be able to beat anyone in middle, all I wanted to do was get some resources and get back to the base so I could upgrade gens. I upgraded all the diamond gens to level 3, and after getting the defender stacked, I went for the efficiency 8 pick which can break a piece of obsidian just over a second, and got chain armor along with it. So I rushed to the base with one of my other teammates and went for the egg. They had three people on defense, but one of them pillared up to try to knock us down, and we saw an opportunity, so we took it. Got it. In the other scrims that I played, I died without doing anything or getting any kills once I got the egg. In this game, I was determined to do the opposite. So I killed one of the defenders and instantly dipped so I didn't get 8v1. Since the respawn glitch meant that I would drop my items, I voided the god pick to make sure the enemy team wouldn't get it and rushed back to their base. There, I fought with a couple of my teammates until we killed everyone left there, and then, since Cubecraft is a great server, I died at mid. I rushed the remaining three people and took out one before avoiding myself. Imagine, imagine avoiding Kestanage. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we were on defense this we whole felt, time, we, we just felt, didn't need armor we or anything. We won without. One of our Let's go! We queued into a second game, and almost immediately after the scrim started, one of our best players for stalling and mid control crashed. Because of this, and just us placing our players badly throughout the whole game, not putting enough people in mid, not putting enough stalling, too many on the egg, they got a pretty early egg break, and I ended up as the last one alive on my team, so after a pillar fight and a nice leaf kill, I ended up getting voided from behind, and in game 2, and a loss for us. This set the score to 1-1, meaning whoever won the next game would win the whole scrim. Obviously, it was very intense, so we wanted to get into the next game as fast as possible. So 45 minutes later, both teams had players that had to leave, so we spent forever getting subs. Two of the people that subbed in for our team were on the A team, the two being Lightships and FX Voids. They're both probably better than everyone else that was playing that scrim, and they definitely had more experience, so they both decided they would go mute for the game to try to make it at least a bit more fair. 
The other team also pulled an A-team member and the scrim eventually started, no matter how scuffed the teams were. One of the people who left was Dexton, who was the captain, and since he was gone, I pretty much had to sub in as captain. An even bigger problem was that both the people that left were two of the only people that talked, and we subbed in two people who were muted the entire game. So we had literally two people that constantly talked in VC, but you know, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. There wasn't anything I could do about it, so I assigned roles, and the scrim started. I put myself on defense and insta-rushed Dobby. I stayed in the egg for almost the whole game to help make sure they didn't get it, but also so I could be comms man, planning things and telling people what to do without needing to focus on playing and planning at the same time. Uh, you're, you're cut for now. If you, do you want to stand on diamond gens and try to upgrade them to level 2? Uh, we have someone ink. Uh, defenders, can you get up here? I'm going to start building up to challenge him. Uh, Baguette and Tron stay on the egg. Uh, actually... Uh, lights, can you try to get 40 diamonds? Yuriko, maybe if you have any diamonds given to lights, lights get the FNCA pick. Alright, nice lights. Uh, wait, lights, wait for FX, um, and then lights, F FX, and uh, Yuriko, you three rush. Uh, Tron, stay here. Uh, everybody who's not them and who's at the base, stay here. Yeah, Cooper, can you come back to base and help us uh, defend for now while they try to go for a rush? Watch out for Mega. Mega's gonna try to avoid. Alright, three of them rushing in. Uh, anybody at base, come back up to help with the defense right now. I'm at base. I'm they have, they have, they, I think they have got, I think Shushin has got pick. I think Egg is gone. Yeah. Oh, Light's nice. Our Egg is gone though. Try to, just don't die. Whatever you do, try, attempt to not die. If you have to leave, leave. This isn't too bad, this isn't too bad. We still have two level three gens. If we, actually, everyone come back to base if you can. Uh, make it back. We have two level three gens. Oh yeah, everyone just get, like, full iron. Lights get a bow. Hopefully you can make it back. Try not to bridge fight. If you can get back to base. So an egg trade happened. Leaving everything down to which team would lose less of its members. In scrims, there's a rule that after the scrim has been going for 30 minutes, the teams will meet at mid and have a final fight where no one can leave mid until the game is over and one team is dead. So the goal is to make sure you either have more gear or more players to the deathmatch. And I intended to have both of those. One of their team voided. Lights killed another one, FX killed another one, and we pulled a 3v1 on one in mid. I figured we had the player advantage in the bag. But, for some reason, a couple people on our team ended up rushing their base, dropping us two players down. Uh, everyone just come back, come back to base. Don't rush them, don't rush them. You can go to mid if you want, but stay at our base or mid. I'm gonna make a safe bridge uh, at the islands that the main bridge is just completely scuffed. But come back to base, do not try to fight them. We have more players, no reason to give up that advantage. We still have the player advantage and probably the skill advantage with lights and FX, but to give them no advantage at all, I called everyone back and we started to try to get control over as many diamond gens as possible. Their team was their side rush, so we had someone controlling the base across from us and a couple people, including me, controlling mid. We even had one person, Yuriko, controlling the base across from them since they didn't go for it. But since Empire wanted to even out the player advantage, they sent three people to try to take Yuriko out. But with her access to two level 3 diamond gens for a good amount of time, she was able to get a copious amount of gear and survive a 3v1 for literally 5 minutes. After that, it was time for deathmatch. Everyone had to come mid for a massive fight, but it was harder than it seemed. Arnon had but a bow and half diamonds, so while going to mid, he shot one of them off. Not to say we didn't warn them, no, we explicitly told them the first time we saw Arnon had a bow and warned them yet again before they rushed mid, but one still died. They wanted one of us to void to make it fair, but we of course said no and moved on. But it, while they were trying to split the non so that their armor wouldn't lose too much durability in the fight against the non, they spliffed Yuriko. They also took out the non, so we just said screw it, and at least now they can't say the win is invalid because they lost one to the non or something, because we lost one too. With the non dead, all the members got to mid, and the final deathmatch began. Target Delta, target Delta. Okay. Neko's helmet broke, diamond helmet gone. Get nerds, get nerds, he's weak. Oh, there was, there, I got nerds, I got nerds. His pants broke. Why did the pants break? I don't know. That's a weird sentence. He doesn't get anymore. He's chucking, he always oh, just dead, he's dead. He just Guy's at the chest plate, he took off. Or he's gone. He's got a backup set. He got pants broke. But it's, it's iron. His backup set's iron. Okay, Mega's iron. Lights, uh, Delta coming up behind you. 
Do not get voided. Bring it back in. I, I just went up. I just went up. Let him, let him They're just leaving the Jimmy's side. Get Delta, get Delta. Delta's trying to come, out, come in on the people comboing Nika. Okay. Okay, and? <laughs> no, uh, oh wait, who did we kill? Neko, I think? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go with Neko. Yeah. 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 Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's, it's just Niders. I'm also going up. Oh wait, he's, he's towering up even higher. Oh, it's... He fell really far. So we won. But the question is, how did I become the clan captain? Did I fold the peer pressure? Did I get forced to be captain by someone who thought I had good comms? Well... <laughs>